All right, so uh, again, this curvilinear probe, not really a cardiac probe, but it's pretty versatile. And here I've got an apical four chamber view. All right, you can see left ventricle, right ventricle. You can get a hint as to what's going on with the uh, uh, valvular aspect of things. You can click a little save of that. All right, and again, it's uh, for just quick gross assessment of function. Um, this is a pretty adequate uh, uh, thing. All right. Next, we're going to have uh, my assistant lay flat on his back. Okay. And then we're going to take uh, a look at his. Uh, there you go. If you can hold that for me, please. Good. So now this is this is going to be what most people are using the curvilinear uh, uh, array for. All right. So we're now in the belly. All right. So you put a. And if your images aren't good, you can always try to put some more gel on. So again, so we've got initially we're seeing a picture of the liver. All right, my initial uh, goal is me, you know, try and take a look at the heart here. All right, and we can make it a little deeper by going deeper, 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 deeper. All right, and there we go. And to get kind of a better picture of things, so right there you can see the left ventricle. The right ventricle is coming into view. If you have your uh, patient bend his knees for you, that can help with uh, relaxing his belly a little bit. I'm getting the picture to come into better view. And then can you take a deep breath for me and hold the young man? All right, and then you should be able to focus sometimes a little bit better as well. All right, so there's that. All right, and you can get a, again, take a quick, you can use the liver as your acoustic window. And with a little bit of effort, you can get all four chambers and you can click save. All right, then if you want to take a look at the vena cava, you can see the liver and the, and the hepatic veins coming into view. Right along here should be the, the vena cava. All right, so you got to, so to get that, you find where the right atrium starts to attach. And all right, and we'll pause from there.